And switching to a story that is new here at noon with spring already in full swing and summer just around the corner. It is now the perfect time to start hiking. Yes, it is. And it's also the perfect time to be aware of rattlesnakes slithering around. KTSM's Irene Romero explains what to do if you're bitten by one and what treatment you should seek. This is the most active time of the year for snakes as the weather continues to warm up. They start to move around to hunt. And as Texas is home to several rattlesnake species, caution when out and about is highly recommended. While rattlesnakes are common in our desert, they are timid in nature and will only strike when startled, provoked, or feel threatened. But it's that bite that could ultimately kill you. An emergency physician at Las Palmas Medical Center spoke with us on how to prevent and respond if you are bitten by a snake. So you just want to stay calm, remove rings. You want to, um, you know, clean the area uh, with, with soapy water if possible. And then um, go, most likely you'll need to go to the ER to, to be evaluated. Snake bite while hiking is a stressful situation, but it's also not a time to be alarmed or afraid to go outside for a hike. Don't be afraid. It's probably more important for your health. You get out, you get, stay active, enjoy the weather. Uh, chances are pretty slim that you get bit, uh, so it's worth it to get out there and enjoy it. But if you do, we're here for you. It's also good to keep in mind that deaths from a rattlesnake bite are extremely rare, also because 25% of all rattlesnake bites are dry bites and don't involve the injection of venom at all. Either way, if bitten, you should always seek medical help. Now, snake bite specialists tell us that dusk and dawn during summer is when snakes are going to be most active. So it's important to stay vigilant and stay on the hiking trail.